Good morning, we're back at it again. It cooled off on us. Uh, luckily the wind's not blowing too bad because today we're putting seed down and we're gonna be putting straw down. So uh, one plan we've got on the uh, little, uh, where, where we p piled the dirt up on the hillside, you, you could see I couldn't get up there to it real well. So I just had to kind of dump it right there by the ditch. Uh, I'm gonna take blue here and uh, I'm gonna try, I think my wife, uh, Mrs. Lovely said, why don't you just drag a pallet behind it and uh, see if that'll spread that dirt out a little bit. So we're gonna give that a go and see if that'll work putting it behind blue because that that hillside for me it's just too steep to get a tractor on i'm sure a lot of people would do it but not me i'm a chicken apparently so uh anyway we're going to load up the ranger here a little red with the uh, the seed let me show you the seed that we're going to be using i've got a couple of different bags of seed one is this pennington kentucky 31 it says for new lawns or overseeding, uh, it'll do up to 8,000 square feet. This one's a more expensive seed here. This is a this is a Scotts Turf Builder Grass Seed Southern Gold Mix, and uh, it says that it's good for harsh conditions, and that's what we've got out there: heat and drought tolerant. And uh, if I remember, it says mostly sun, of course. So. That's what we're going to put on there, and I've got a bag full of busted open. That's why I've got it in a bag of some fertilizer. It is Scott's also. Let me see what we got. Southern Lawn Food. That's what that one is. Heat and drought tolerant. Feeds and protects. So we're going to get this loaded up on a little red here, and we're going to make sure something happens. This was down in the field. Mrs. Lovely picked it up yesterday. Somebody was having some fun down there near the road. So we gotta get that in the trash. And we're gonna load up. This, all this string was bundled up in that top soil. I'm gonna get this out of here. We'll find a spot for that later. A few rocks. You never know what you're gonna find buried under the dirt. But we'll load her up. So up there all the way to the road we got to do but this is the area that I was just telling you about <clears throat> that uh, up there where that ditch is I could only get so far in dropping those loads right there that's just too heavy to pull with this pallet so uh, I may have to use the shovel and the rake a little bit but what I think I'll do again mrs. lovely with all her good brains she said why don't you just throw those bags of seed on this pallet once you get it connected to baby blue over there and uh that'll add some weight to it we might be able to pull some of that out but i've got some really cool news what we're going to be doing today is i called a equipment rental company and we're going to be renting one of those straw blowers this one doesn't have the hose that you drag it has a chute so since i'm all along this driveway the whole way i'm hoping i can just bring it right up there and shoot it right over all the way up through here once we get the seed down so that's gonna be a fun one to do uh and for you guys who've never used one of those before or you've thought about renting one this might be a good opportunity for you to see it for the first time this one they said it's a couple years old so i'd say it's a newer style uh i guess there's some older ones that are a little bit different but yeah hang in there and let's check this out together and we'll see if we like it and if it saves us a lot of time it's going to cost a little bit extra but believe me we've thrown straw out before by hand and it ain't no fun at all so hopefully this will speed things up well let's hook this pallet up see if we can drag this
So that's only gonna do so much. I think it's time for me to throw on some gloves and get the shoveling. That's just not gonna do the trick, I'm afraid. I'll do a few more passes. It can't hurt. So I realized that was not the perfect solution, but it definitely helped. I want you to take a look at what it did do. Okay, it flattened that out, packed it in, so it's gonna make it harder for me to shovel probably, or, or use the, the uh, rake on. But over here, it did spread it out a good bit. So some raking in here, and that's gonna be a whole lot better than it would have been. Uh, but yeah, I gotta pull all this up this way. That's gonna be a job. I didn't have enough dirt down there on the mound to uh, complete everything on this uh, hillside here and I've got quite a bit up, up there that I need to get done too but I got to get moving I got to get this seed down in this fertilizer so that I can go get my half day rental on my my straw spreader so here's my little contraption that's high-tech stuff right there it did a little bit of help i mean it, it probably saved my back by now i'd be sweating and, and tired so it's time to start that process right now down bring the tractor up here risk it let's do it some things worse so we're just gonna do what we can with what we got yeah that felt so tipsy man i know it probably doesn't look like it especially on camera but in that big tall tractor with that cab it feels when i got up there i just if i felt like if i went any further it would tip and the reason i feel that way is because i've been in this tractor a lot and I have felt the rear wheels come up off the ground. I need to get them filled with some liquid as soon as possible so I don't have to deal with that. At least not as bad. It's just not worth the risk. So we'll do what we can. I don't think I'll get any grass growing down here unless I get rid of all this rock here. But we'll try. We'll try. I'll come back and get that rock on. But this is a whole lot better. It was worth it just to get this down because this was piled high.
scraped a little bit too deep here. Didn't mean to do that. what that is a skid plate it's got this big wing nut of some sort on here Okay, it's spread out pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is fill up my spreader with fertilizer, hit this area, and go down there, finish the fertilizer, come back this direction with seed. So let's get started, man. All right. Let me show you what I found. I was walking down here, about to start spreading fertilizer down here. And look at this little crater that's right here. So up this hill, there's a spring that comes up from under the ground. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> little crawdad. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. One of God's creatures. So amazing. Right, I'm gonna leave you be. I just wanted to play with you a second. We'll do more fertilizer now and then we'll hit the seed. Let's do it. I'll spare you from all this. And you're gonna get to see us throw that straw on here with that machine we're gonna rent. So I just finished putting the fertilizer all the way up and down the side of the driveway. Now I've got my seed here. I've got the Scott Southern Gold Mix and Pennington uh, Kentucky 31. This one says for a new lawn, put my spreader on 11 and go over it twice. This one, is about to find out what it says. It's got, let's see. Well, it just says apply with a rotary spreader as recommended. It's not giving me a recommendation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix this equally and I'm going to uh, spread it all uh, kind of mixed up. But I just got a call in that little, that edit there in between that uh, the rental company told me that they're ready to give me my, uh, rip me my spreader, my uh, straw spreader, blower, whatever you wanna call it. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix the first batch of this. And then I'm gonna go up to the bar and get my truck, go get the spreader, 
then we'll finish this and we'll come back and catch you back here when we're spreading a little bit of this and then blowing all this down through that. It'll be, this will be the first time I've ever used one of those things. So we'll see how it works. I think it's gonna be fun. All right, we've got the green and blue mixture here. Okay, we might just have enough seed. It's hard to say, but it looks like we're getting to the point where we're gonna run out just in time. All right, lovely people. So I'm about to start this machine for the first time. I've been dropping bells of straw all the way as I've been coming down the driveway. I whipped down in the road, turned around, pointing back this way and we're gonna get to work. I'm afraid I won't have enough straw. So I'm gonna have to recognize that before they close up the road so I can go get some. But let's see if we can get this blowing over here.
thick. It's not extremely thick, but it's pretty darn good. Not very, it's not covering too thick, so I'm just gonna see how much I end up with. All right, lovely people, we are still running this thing. I'm about to do this big section right here, and you guys can watch me do that. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more straw, no doubt about it. And then I've gotta go up on, on the side of the hill. I've got a few bales laid out up through that direction. But we're gonna blow a couple right here. coverage obviously we need to get more up here for sure but uh, let me let you see this from the angle of the machine that way you can see the machine in action from the spot where the operators at let's crank her up get it going
it's beautiful today i tell you what this tennessee weather here it is mid-march and you just don't know what you're gonna get last night it got down to 24 degrees tomorrow and today it's sunny and it's like in, in the 50s tomorrow it's going to be around 64 but cloudy and then the rain comes in if you've been keeping up with the the channel you know that out here at the lovely place i've been doing a lot of work down there toward the front of the property uh near the road where the driveway comes in and i've been spreading topsoil and spreading seed put out a lot of grass seed and fertilizer and straw and i got something to show you it's only been a few days and sadly what i've got to show you is not good news and some of you may have predicted it by now you saw something that possibly could have been a problem and lo and behold it was a bigger problem than i expected it to be i knew it would be i knew it would be a challenge i knew there'd be an issue but it ended up being a little a little worse than expected let me show you though i'll, I'll get to that in a little bit let me show you a couple things number one we purchased these two picnic tables again another video i introduced these things and told you about where i found them but i bought a set of pallet forks and i lifted these up off of the uh, trailer that i had them on and just brought them over here and set them in the woods it's got a pretty decent view out there from where these are sitting now hopefully one day god willing there will be a house right here that can out look out that way and i was just telling lovely that the deal is when we put the house there we're not going to have the the best view from here so we'll probably pick these tables up then place them over that way so we can still see a gorgeous view but i came up here today got a little bit of a late start if you're newer to the channel and you don't know the situation here about two years ago we bought a piece of property almost close to 60 acres 58 point whatever and uh we did that in the preparation of creating a place that's self-sufficient and uh, can be a homestead a place that we can come to and build it as quickly as we as we can but obviously it's slow compared to if you were just starting and you were being able to go all in and live there and and uh have an existing farmhouse or something like that there was nothing existing on this land at all and so we've got this pole barn built over here and we're finishing up the tiny house inside the front of it so that we can have a place to lay our heads at night after a long day's work to clean up to cook uh, and so on we're putting solar panels out in the field we've already purchased the solar system we've just not got it up yet we'll be bringing the pv wire all the way up to the barn so uh there's a lot going on here a lot that's been happening from clearing the driveway almost three quarters of a mile to the road all the way back here bulldozing out trees cutting trails you name it chipper shredder getting our new tractor and our new cutter that i'm gonna i just serviced it and uh we'll be getting it hooked up before long and cutting this 18 to 20 acre field out here with our case i 75 c and our 15 foot bat wing rhino there's a lot of work coming up i just landed a a little job the neighbor the new neighbor that purchased some land adjacent to me they've got they've got grass or weeds up to my chest right now and they're going to be building a barn out there before too long and they asked me if i could help them out with my tractor and so i'm going to be cutting a little bit of their property too probably close to 10 acres i think that might help pay for a little diesel fuel so yeah recently in fact we've got the even though it's in the 50s today it's kind of cool in the barn and we've got the uh propane tank hooked up the mr heaters fired up there was a recent video on the setup of that mr heater 30,000 btu heater and uh, mrs lovely's in there staying warm right now and doing some work on the inside we just came back off of the trails here again it's a gorgeous day and so we walked out the trail a little bit and as you can see the tables are right here at the head of the trail it's just a beautiful place 
another video recently you might have seen where i cleared out what i call the i now call it the holly hole because we've got a, a little holly a beautiful holly tree right down there let me show it to you right down in the middle of this deep bowl so therefore it's called the holly hole and i got so many projects but this one's probably one that we'll be doing before too long and that is a root cellar and i want to talk to you about a place that i'm thinking might be a good spot for the root cellar uh, and i like your opinion but yeah look at this beautiful tree just out here by itself as green and as pretty as can be so yeah this is just a really neat holly tree where there are no other hollies around it we do have another holly tree over there by the driveway on the other side of the equipment that i've got stashed up there Speaking of equipment, I'll show you that uh, I'll show you that fork, uh, pallet forks here in a little bit. Also bought a uh, a post hole digger auger, so now I can get busy putting up a little building, trying to put some cover on it so I can get my equipment up out of the rain. So that'll be nice, and I know all you guys will be happy about that. I mentioned the root cellar a minute ago. So yeah, the sun that's south right there it's kind of south right there obviously west is this direction east back at the the view that's the east that's where the sun rises in fact at the beginning of our videos and our little logo if you will for the channel the lovely place that particular video was taken from right up there early in the morning in a sunrise and that sound that you hear of all those birds going wild that's actual sound that came that came right off the that particular footage that was the actual sound with it it's amazing it, it it was it just came alive that morning and it was a beautiful morning that was the first night that we stayed out here at the lovely place on site overnight got up early that morning walked out there and watched that sun come up drinking some coffee it was it was a nice morning but yeah back to a root cellar so that being the south that direction that's the north west east you know you want your root cellar underground and you want it facing i'd say the north uh as much as you can you don't want the sun at any point directly shining down into it uh into the entrance of it and you want it on a hillside so check out this hillside again i'm i'm down here in the middle of what i'm calling the holly hole it's pretty crazy i mean i'm just going to kind of walk in a circle here look at this this is all the upper bank all the way around of this bowl this holly hole <laughs> and uh i'm right at six feet tall and right over here is actually if i were to level this off that's probably above my head slightly over here it's definitely more above my head this is this is pretty much due west southwest here which means that if we were to if we were to dig into that bank and go inside that way then when the sun rises in the east we're definitely going to have some shade from all these trees and but you know it is going to come in there i don't think you can avoid all sun so the fact that this is the highest point that's where i would really think that a root cellar would be really good i could start down here at the lowest level start digging in and maybe even go a little low and come into underneath that bank there uh i wish that the bank was a little higher right here because that's more facing south which if i could go in that way then uh the doorway the entrance would be facing north and we got all kinds of shade that way too and no sun directly coming over that way but we'll figure it out and and that's a project for another time all right lovely people we got you hooked up to little red now we're going to go all the way down to the front near the road at the driveway where we laid all the seed straw fertilizer and you'll see what happened come on with us
All right, so I don't know if you can see this. I'll pick you up in a second and show you a close-up view, but this has been scratched all to pieces. Uh, my good friend and neighbor has a bunch of chickens. In fact, he just gave me a bunch of eggs just a couple weeks ago, and man, they're some of the best eggs I've ever eaten. We still got a dozen left. We've eaten two dozen already. And uh, so, you know, I'm not in any way upset with him. I knew these chickens were out here before I did this. And so um, I knew it was a risk that I was gonna be taking, but I didn't know it would be this bad. Let me let you take a look. And like I said earlier, several of you probably saw the chickens when I was doing the work and you thought about that the fact that this would happen so all right so a lot of seed is gone a lot of seed has been eaten but my buddy and neighbor also told me that there was hundreds of uh, blackbirds that had flew over and just swarmed it and ate a bunch as well so between the chickens and the blackbirds i don't know how much grass we're gonna get that's old grass there we've not had enough time it's only been about a week <laughs> But I had this covered, as you can see. If you go back and you watch the video where I did the all the moving of the dirt, we had a huge mound of topsoil down there, down that way. And uh, we pulled it up with the tractor, spread it all over the place, got it nice and smoothed out with the box blade, and then came in with a, a lot of seed and seeded this really good, fertilized it. I rented a straw blower and I blew straw all over this. And as you can see right now, we've already had a couple of heavy rain. This is where they've been digging in it. And you see those, those areas where they've been burrowing in. And we can, you can see a little seed. We'll see if any of it takes. I'm sure some of it will. But it's not going to be the lush, thick, gorgeous yard that we were hoping for. And the main thing, <laughs> chicken tracks. Or is that dinosaur? That could be dinosaur. We may be in Jurassic Park. But like I was saying, um, you know, the main focus, the main goal was to get this to, to keep from eroding out uh, with the rain. And I'm afraid we're gonna have a lot of erosion. So, you know, all you could do is the best you can do. All you can do is give it your best effort. All you can do is hope, work, pray, and uh, wait for rain. And uh, we can reseed it. We can uh, lay more on it. We'll get it eventually. I'll keep you guys posted and let you see how it does, but I'll show you a couple more areas. Now, there's an area up on that steep hill, if you watch the video, where the chickens didn't get to. You'll see how good it's covered, how it remains real good and covered. So I'll show you that real fast. By the way, that's the that's the field for the neighbor I'm going to be doing. It's going to be good. Looking forward to that. covered and this still is covered that well so there's seed fertilizer you can see where the the rain did come down the hill and a little bit of erosion underneath the straw there but this looks good in comparison to what it looks like down on the other end well with a little luck what we got there with a little luck and god's will we'll have grass Sometimes he just wants us to keep trying and not give up. So we're not gonna give up. We'll just keep working this and get it where it needs to go. Now we've got so many other things we need to do that 
some point this might not take the highest priority but due to the fact that it can erode and it can cause lots of problems you know it, it does take priority and if you've not been around us you probably don't know this but everybody else has already heard it we are going to be digging across this driveway putting more tiles in more culverts like this and you can see how that water is gathering down here where it's draining out it's starting to build a bad trench here we're gonna need to do something about that uh, unfortunately some folks came up here and uh, did a little mudding <laughs> and they ended up having to get towed out they got stuck over there so um, that was not a happy day but all is well anyway we're gonna put some more tiles across here to get the water runoff so those ditches don't get so deep and we don't have as much eroding and eventually we'll bring riprap up now one of the places that's the worst is on up the driveway right here if you can see right through there as it goes up and goes up that way it uh, it gets really bad the ditches do so we'll be taking tiles across that section and pulling water off of it so i pulled on up the hill here and this is real bad i got a lot of work to do on this guys so it was when we built this it was nowhere near this kind of deep i've talked to y'all about it already but we absolutely have to get this fixed look at that it's just dumping off in here and it's just washing it out that's a little concrete extra that we had when we poured some concrete had him dump it there little did i know that it would hold this but as soon as that concrete ended it would just eat that out like crazy so yeah we got to take some tiles across up that way probably one up there i don't know maybe another one here there's runoff coming down off this hill so i'm thinking the tile going across right here everything washing down that way i don't know i'd like to hear your thoughts i mean a lot of you guys you've done this kind of work i've watched some good videos on it so i know there's some things to do but maybe you can help me make some decisions look at that this is just eating towards this driveway and it's taking it out so we've got to fix it but when we do fix it we'll put rip wrap in certain areas to prevent this from happening again that's the goal now here's where it's the worst you can see when you come down this driveway toward me let me get up here and look down and it's going down that water is running off and cutting off to the side here and it's washing this side out low that's got to be fixed i really got to figure out where that water is coming in up here you wouldn't think it would be but i'm guessing it's washing over this coming in heavy here i don't know washing over this hill and coming down and pouring out here that's got to be fixed and then on this side of the driveway the ditch comes on this you know on the right side and then it cuts over and it's just been eating that out too so should i put a tile some kind of french drain here should i just ditch this out try to get it full of riprap or, or grass getting it full of grass that's the hard part we won't have chicken issues up here but we'll have washout constantly anyway it's been fun hanging out with you today my camera just went off it sees me walking by and uh we invite you to come back here to the lovely place anytime you want to get away and see somebody work their tail off and hopefully make a dent and uh make a homestead and make a place where we can come down here and have some have a good life and uh we uh, appreciate you joining us. So we'll talk to you next time. Take care.